Oh, I think y'all are really gonna appreciate the assistance that I got in this video. A little backstory. So, a couple of months ago, I asked my wife to participate in a video. Y'all have seen my wife in several videos, the biggest hater in the game, the most opinionated person in the world, and very picky when it comes to fragrances. That's a woman who knows how to do her job. She's keeping it real. So during Christmas, I purchased her her first Kayali fragrance, and the first Kayali fragrance I had ever seen, smelled, etc. It was Yum Pistachio. She wanted to showcase it on one of the videos that we did because it's something that she's been wearing constantly and she was feeling. But I do like this one. <laughs> that Kayali Yum Pistachio is it? Or Pistachio Gelato? Yum Pistachio Gelato. Well, long story short, it got back to the Kayali group who ended up telling me that they were fans of my content since way back when. Shout out to the head of PR and would love for us to smell some of their fragrances. And I was like, I'm down. I only smelled one. I appreciate that. Thank you for showing love from Jump Street. And and they blessed me with at least 10 different fragrances to try out from the brand. But two particular fragrances that we opened impatiently were The Wedding Velvet Santal 35 and The Wedding Silk Santal 36. And having some experience in the bridal industry, I had a little help from the biggest hater in the game in finding out what people in the bridal industry as well as young ladies feel about these two particular fragrances and we shall see what they say. Let's roll my music so I can give you my thoughts on on these two fragrances and what some ladies think. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Kara and Mona and the entire Kayali team for the wonderful words. I mean, they were so dope. I never think. See, the thing about me is I am a centertainer. I'm not really a fragrance reviewer. I've said it multiple times. I'm a dude who likes to smell fragrances and really entertain, take you guys out of your daily rut. I do not consider myself a fragrance reviewer. I just happen to make content on fragrances, which is something that I'm passionate about. So although I have a decent sized following, it's still hard for me to believe that anybody wants to watch my content any longer than one minute. I can't stand my own voice, so why would you? you gotta know! Yeah, hell yeah. The biggest in the game! That's what I'm saying. But I love making content. So to hear that other brands, multi-million dollar companies, and this isn't the first to tell me that they enjoyed the content, I've been watching it for a while, is a blessing and I'm super humbled by it. So when they bless me with, I mean, ridiculous amounts of fragrances, I'm humbled and grateful. But I also appreciate that they know what type of time I'm on and that I don't give a shit how many fragrances you bless me with, I'm gonna keep it all the way a stack. It is what it is. What are you gonna do, repossess them? Got him. But these two fragrances caught me and my wife's attention, which are the wedding ones. And having experience in that bridal scenery, we ripped these joints open and smelled in them. I'm gonna give you my first impressions before we jump over to clips of the young ladies giving their impressions. So here's what the presentation of the wedding velvet Santal 35 looks like. Very swaggy, clean, still has a little bit of a masculine flair. Most of the Kayali fragrances I feel had more of a feminine look, but when they start incorporating little accents like this with that black matte finish and the little glossy stripes on it, it does give it a little bit of a masculine flair. As a dude who's clearly into jewelry, I can appreciate it and I don't feel any type of way having it on my counter. But it's not about the look for a dude, it's about the scent. And I'll give you, this is class act. Dot com. A buttery, silky sandalwood sensation that you're getting from this joint, followed by a beautiful nuttiness that this fragrance has, and being one of the first fragrances that I've smelled from this lineup, as far as masculine is concerned, I was like, yo, we're starting off on a really solid foot here. So in all the Kayali fragrances, the back has the note breakdown, and the notes in this particular fragrance are jasmine petals, tea leaves, mm, love tea, white musk, cedarwood, benzoin, and sandalwood, hence the whole Santal. So as a fragrance that speaks towards weddings, I absolutely see the tuxedo aspect, the cleanliness, the non-offensive, nothing but sharp edges, but I get a nutty sandalwood fresh sensation with a little bit of body and elegance. Let's speak fact, the shit is sexy. So it's a resinous sandalwood sensation that it speaks, fam. Shit's got a vibe, it's got a full energy, it's got a nice, Hints, like a subtle puff of spiciness in this joint that hits 
different. Like there's a lot of sandalwood fragrances that kind of have a linear attraction or like some fragrances share similarities with other. This kind of has a space of its own being a sweet, rich, resinous sandalwood, but isn't wildly overpowering. Like this could be something absolutely pulled off in that tuxedo in your special day. Now my assumption is that this fragrance was put together along with the Silk Santal version, black and white, husband and wife, bride and groom, to complement each other. Now the notes on this particular one are sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugared musk. Almost dropped the bottle. And still, with the same complementing factor, the his and hers, very elegant. It's all about the bride. It has kind of this veil type essence there, just very dramatic, very wedding-esque style. Very swaggy bad bitch alert. You look hot. I am definitely the hottest bride. Because the wedding is all about the brides. Do just stand there, shut the fuck up, smile, tear a little bit, and let the queen walk down the aisle so you can surrender your soul to her. All right, so now we're gonna be smelling this joint right here. Beautiful, feminine, amazingly sparkling. When they say sparkling champagne, you can pinpoint that to the T. Citrus, soft, sexy, supple. I wanna smell this with the wedding dress on and off. Don't get turned on. Like this is when I wanna smell when I put my head between your legs on the dress. You know when you take off the, what's the thing? What's this shit called again? A little rubber piece and you pull it off with your teeth, old school style, you go under the dress and it looks kinda kinky. And they don't do that anymore, but if you go to like a nice little Italian wedding or something, they still pull that shit out. That's what I want to smell. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's soft, it's feminine, ultra classy. There's no old lady, you don't smell like prunes and salty and crackers. This is ultra sexy, definitely youthful, bad shorty. Her wedding dress is made to measure, fits like a glove, will get absolutely destroyed in the reception and you spend $38,000 on what now is a rag. Die, dress, <laughs> die, die. So I think both of these fragrances give me an outstanding Standing first impressions of this particular brand, which I solely thought was catered only to ladies, but clearly they have other stuff that's not only unisex, but I feel more masculine cater, which gives me like a nice vote of confidence that I'll be able to give my true interpretations from a masculine aspect on how to pull these off. But, but it's only right that I let the queen take the reins and see what some of the ladies in the industry feel about these particular fragrances. Let's see what they say. Hi guys, we're gonna review two fragrances that I absolutely love by Keali, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. What better way than to review these properly than at a bridal shop? Let's test it out. Can you guys smell this and tell me what you think? Pick one. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? This is the wedding collection by Kayali. I'm doing this for my husband. I just want to get people to smell stuff. So cute. I can't wait to have Maybe spray the box. Spray inside. Mmm, I like that. Okay, that's funny. Shane, smell it. Okay, I'll hold it next. <laughs> Does it smell like leathery? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, this could be Melissa's next wedding scent. Yes. I love it. I like this packaging, this is more my vibe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the bottle's cute. Isn't it so it's pretty? Like, this is the wedding. I know. That is it's cute. like a he and she. This one's That's called. Very smart. Look, she. Velvet Santal. Pretty, very, very happy. It smells Yeah, it's pretty. Maybe the it's actually really light. I smell that and it smells so nice. I think they did this well, Wrong? Yeah, I don't know if it's a piece of Ooh, do we like that one better? Okay. She's like, do Shane? Shane, let's smell. Very pretty. It's like fresh. They're all pretty. They're all really good. Put it in this little. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Carly. Can you smell these for me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you smell these for me? Aren't these so pretty? These are so, I love them. They're the like little wedding scents. And down. Carly's gonna give us her true opinion. Dang, girl. She's a true spritzer. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Velvet Santal. Do we love it? I love it. It's very like, oh, like vanilla-y, warm. Yeah, like ooh. This. On your skin, it smells really good. Yeah. I just, it just hit me. I like it. All okay. right, now we're gonna try. Take two. The lighter version. Oh, 
Charlie, you look so pretty today. Thank you. <laughs> so, do the other hand. I need like the coffee beans to like. Ooh. Do we like this one? Which one do you like better? I don't know. Wait, I think I like this one a little bit better because I'm more of a sweeter person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This one for a night out. This one all day. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one's like a little bit spicier, right? A little sexier, yes. a little bit more who is she? All right. This one's sweet. That was Carly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think. Mm. I wish I had a little like. I like this one. It's a little masculine. Mm. Oh yes, I feel like one is spicier than the other. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Mm. And this it's a little like... warm. Maybe spray the box if you don't want to spray it in your skin. Yeah, I just put all my glossy mm. on. This <laughs> one reminds me of something like a dessert, but I don't remember what. It smells like powdery. It kind of smells like a banana. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the notes here. Mm. Champagne. White freesia. Pink praline. Yeah, it's a little lush nectarine. It's a little sweet. Yeah. It's nice though, right? Okay, I like switch. it. Swap. And the sandal one is a little warm. <laughs> this one is like powdery. I like, I like it. the box. Really, really good. It's very like warm. Okay. Oh, the bottle's oh. so pretty. Oh. Oh. I know yeah, this I'm is like, so <laughs> Literally night and day. Oh yeah, no, I like this one. I like more masculine though. Mm, I like this one. <laughs> Kindle's more sweet. Mm, yeah. Yeah, wow. this one smells like warm, but it kind of smells. Yeah, I like oh this my one. God. You like this one? Like... Not because it's matte black. <laughs> no, but it's <laughs> tea leaves, white moss, one is cedar wood. Sweeter than the other. I like all this all day. That one Ooh, smells I so love good. that. Oh my god. Smell them both. Let's start with this one. Okay. This is the wedding. This is the wedding. It's like warm but light. Mm-hmm. Be like a good like summery smell. Okay, we like that. I like it, I like it. And then let's smell this one. Yeah, so smell I mean, this. can we talk about the packaging though? This is so cute. So cute. So Knowing cute. Farah, I think I know which one she's gonna pick between these two. It almost looks like a giant diamond in the world. Alright. Ooh, but I like the black because it's mm -hmm. moody. I'm a little moody. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's spicy. This is spicy. This is sexy. Yes. One is like date night and the other one. This like... is like, yeah, this smells like nighttime. This is like when you're getting married, you wear this for your wet the white one for your wedding day and then this one for the honeymoon. Um, yes. So just get both. Yeah, why not, right? right? You got your wedding day covered and we got your wedding night covered. <laughs> Love it. Which of these do you like? My, my preference is this because I prefer light uh, scent because I don't want the scent to walk in. Mm -hmm. I like to get close to the person and smell them. So this to me is a little stronger. That's why, but I always go for very light scents. Beautiful. Me, this one's more lighter. Love it. Thank you, baby. The ladies have spoken. Both of the fragrances are absolutely amazing, but it seemed to be that the masculine essence, which is not surprising as a lot of New York shorties really like them masculine scent profiles on themselves to show that power, that masculinity, rough, rugged, and raw, they don't play around. But they appreciate that feminine flow and can see how both of these play off each other beautifully. Shout out to the Kayali team for the beautiful, generous gift that they presented. These are our true interpretations. Shout out to all the ladies that participated in the video and let me know what your favorite Kayali fragrance is and if you tried these out for yourself. I'll put a link in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. game. Smooch. He don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would... <laughs>